<laughs> Inflatable sanders are expensive and notoriously problematic, so I decided to make something cheaper and suitable for sanding concave surfaces. After drilling the hole, I dry fitted the bolt before using epoxy to create a secure bond. I'm using a quarter inch bolt here. Once the epoxy has hardened, I chopped off the bolt end and then used a grinding wheel to smooth off the burr. I then chucked it into the lathe so that I could shape the tip but also to center the tip in case the bolt was not perfectly centered. The tip should be smooth enough to allow the adhesive velcro to stick. It can be just as easy to shape and center the tip using a drill and a sander. To get the velcro to sit flat on the sander, I first cut out a paper template and I used that to cut the uh, a shape from the fuzzy side. And I used the fuzzy side as template to cut the hook side of the velcro. After I was satisfied with the fit, I peeled off half the adhesives on the velcro, stuck that on to make sure everything's centered before peeling and sticking on the other half of the velcro. I then cut a wedge out of a circle piece and used that to cover up the rest of the sander. To make the sanding sleeve, I took a piece of sandpaper and then traced out a template and then cut that template out. Uh, when you're cutting the pit of the template, make sure to cut a small circle. This template was designed for a um, right hand spinning uh, drill or die grinder. If yours is a left hand turning, just have to reverse the template. It's pretty much ready to be used for a drill as is, but if you want to use it on a die grinder, you have to secure the flaps. Um, I suggest using just a rubber band and that should be more than enough to secure the flaps. If you don't, then your flaps are going to fall apart as you use it. Well, I hope you find this DIY project useful, and uh, see you next time.